Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's find out weak dimensions for the entire model. So let's get started. So first, let's understand why it is required. So when we create a sketch inside the model, Creo adds number of dimension required to complete the sketch. This dimension will be weak dimension by nature. Since these dimensions are weak dimension by nature, it tends to change itself relative to other dimensions and constraint. This change may cause the regeneration failure or sometime change in the shape of the part. That is why we avoid weak dimensions inside the part. So we try hard to avoid all weak dimensions from our part, but still sometimes we miss some of the dimensions. So once you complete your part, it is very necessary to find all the weak dimensions from your part and convert it into strong dimension. So now you understood the requirement. Now let's see the procedure. So this is a simple sketch and it shows that I need four dimension to make this sketch fully constant. And if I make this sketch symmetry from both the end, I need two dimensions to make this sketch fully constant. Now if you are coming from another tool background, then you may not feel comfortable with these weak dimensions. So in that case, you can hide these weak dimensions by deactivating one option. Go to File, Options, Sketcher and here you have option called Show Weak Dimensions. You can deactivate this and your weak dimension is gone. But I personally feel comfortable having these weak dimensions because these weak dimensions gives me the complete idea about how many dimensions are required to make this sketch fully constant. And once your all weak dimension is gone, that means your sketch is fully constant. So I will leave this option as it is. So this is my part and I'll use this part to find out all weak dimensions within this part. And to do this, first I'll go to tree columns and here I'll select two items, feature and feature ID. Now let's find out the weak dimensions. And for that, go to Tools, Model Intent, Program, and here you get couple of options. Now go to Edit Design, and you get a notepad opened here. Now if you see this notepad carefully, you will find that it starts with Creo version 5, other details. If you go down, here you have datum plane, the name of this datum plane is right, which is nothing but this datum plane, the right one. If you still go down again datum plane, that datum plane name is top, which is the second datum plane. Still go down, again you have datum plane, that name is front, which is this third one. Then you will get this coordinate system, go down, you have coordinate system. The coordinate system name is this one, which is this one. Then you go down. You have provision, which is revolve, which is this one. Go down. Then you have datum axis. The name of datum axis is A2, which is this one. So this notepad is having the complete history about your part. And from here, we will find all big dimensions within this part. So I'll go to top. Now to find all the big dimensions from this part, first you go to edit, find, and here you type weak. Find next. Now Creo is highlighting one dimension, which is weak dimension, which is somewhere here. This dimension is D78. And if you scroll up, you will find that this is coming from Protrusion Revolve and if you see just above this, you will find that the feature ID is 39, the feature number is 5. So if you go to this feature number, this is the 5 and this is the feature ID 39. So this is the feature where you have this weak dimension. Now click on Find Next. You again click Find Next. Now this is the second weak dimension which we have somewhere here 
it is an extrude the feature number is 15 feature id is 301 so go to feature number 15 this is the 15 and 301 so this is the feature again you find next that's it so you have two weak dimensions which is in revolve 1 and extrude 3 so feature number 15 and uh, feature number 5 is having weak dimension now you cancel it close it now let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel thank you now you go to revolve 1 edit it now once you go inside the sketch you will find that you have one weak dimension here so you can make this dimension as strong dimension just select you can lock or you can make it strong or you can place another dimension to remove this weak dimension so i'll place another dimension from this line this axis this line okay and done now the next feature is extrude 3 now this is the weak dimension now this time i'll just select this dimension and i'll make it strong say okay okay done so this was the complete idea about how to find weak dimensions from your entire model and how to identify those features where these weak dimensions are and how to make it strong and i hope this video will be helpful now like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe my channel for further updates.